from a exclusive tweet kagabi to a deletion ng tweet and then a forced disclosure the next morning cancellation kagabi and then now it's the deferment yep you know what i'm talking about it is all about dito cme's drama in the past 24 hours Hello everyone, uh, Mike here of uh, Stocksilog and uh, yun nga ano, pag-uusapan natin kung ano ang nangyari sa kwento ni Dito CME in the past 24 hours. I'm pretty sure karamihan sa inyo nakatutok kung ano ang nangyayari kay Dito CME. And uh, susubukan kong magbigay ng opinion on uh, this short one. So what do we know so far about uh, this issue? Kagabi around the, uh, I think around 8pm, Merong exclusive tweet na lumabas no na saying na cancelled na nga daw yung SRO ni Dito. So Dito CME Holdings cancels the 8 billion rights offer due to a weak demand and poor market conditions. And then right about an hour after he deleted the tweet saying na deleted my previous tweet to avoid any corporate regulatory issues that I was just told had not been yet cleared. We will provide further updates as they are approved. So, it appears na yung source ni Miguel is nagkamali on this one. And then, ayun na nga, no? after an hour further, he tweeted na, to clarify and for full transparency, tweet was taken down at the request of the company. Because I was initially told na it was cleared. Tapos, later on, informed na yung PSC pala ay hindi pa na-approve yung final announcement. Actually, itong mga tweets na to nag-explode siya sa social media kagabi, no? Kasi, syempre, we know Dito is one of the most active, no? Uh, since last year. And maraming mga tinatawag ng mga fanatic, no? Uh, with Dito. So, syempre, this one really took off, no? And despite the fact na dinelit ni Miguel yung kanyang tweet, eh, marami nang nakapag-screenshot and marami nang nakapag-share sa social media. And then this morning, naglabas ng uh, disclosure ang PSE, no? And I think this is a an emergency na nag-disclose sila or nag-announce sila sa sa website kasi usually alam ko during the weekdays lang sila, eh, no? But uh, yeah, so this time around, ang laman nung disclosure was that similar to what was mentioned kagabi no in terms of the the tweet the only difference is that kagabi ang sinabi kasi is cancellation of the uh, SRO ni Dito however on this one it is just a deferment defer no ibig sabihin ipagpapaliban okay so hindi pa natin alam kung kailan at kung ganun pa rin ba yung magiging presyo no at 488 or magiiba na and at the same time yung mga nakapag-subscribe dun sa SRO will be refunded naman daw. Just a quick recap of what had happened. Medyo matagal ng usap-usapan sa social media and sa stocks forums yung SRO ni Dito. Actually, I think last year pa yata ito. No? Medyo tumagal lang and then finally, noong last month, nabigyan na ng linaw when they have already announced yung final pricing. And that is about 4.88 per share. So, syempre, marami mga natuwa. Marami rin namang medyo na-disappoint no? on that regard. Pero still, nakapagbigay na ng mga dates kung kailan yung offer period, kung kailan yung listing nung mga shares for SRO. And then, fast forward about two weeks after na we thought okay na yung lahat, naglabas ng news or ng disclosure again si Dito saying na they have extended yung kanilang SRO dahil may mga hindi daw nakakuha na gustong mag-avail ng shares pero hindi nakakuha and yung mga SRO kits ay hindi na i-deliver ng maayos maybe because of the pandemic to be honest nung nabasa ko yung sabi ko parang merong disconnect no? uh, kasi sinasabi nila na may mga hindi daw nakabili so initially maybe it's wrong for me to assume na marami ang may gustong bumili at hindi lang nakakuha at that time. So, parang my assumption was binigyan lang sila ng chance ni Dito 
para mai-avail ulit siya no kasi hindi daw sila umabot or something and then yung news naman na to na nangyari they are saying na they have decided id na i-defer yung SRO because of low demand now the big question here is this so what does this mean para dun sa mga may hawak nandito let me try to group that into two groups no the first one is yung mga merong availment yung nakapag-avail ng SRO the second one is yung hindi naman sila nag-avail pero meron silang hawak na dito and then siguro let's uh, let's go with the third one na rin no uh, how about doon sa mga nag-aabang lang kay dito and wala naman talagang hawak so for the first one yung mga nag-avail ng SRO okay lang naman kasi sabi naman doon sa disclosure eh may babalik naman may refund naman yung yung buying power although hindi nga lang nila kinlarify kung kailan exactly no? so we'll have to wait for further information on that now on the uh, second group which basically is also the first group no uh, anong mangyayari doon sa mga may hawak nandito well hawak pa rin naman nila yung shares no it's just that there is a huge negative impact no in terms of market sentiment etong nangyaring news na ito no at least that is my opinion in case you're wondering kasi syempre sa market natin we are governed by usually market sentiment and sa ngayon na uh, nasa pandemic pa rin tayo most of the things na nagpapagalaw sa market is because of the market sentiment now how does this deferment ng SRO play into the sentiment just try to imagine no dito was one of the most active na na stock in the in the market let's say from last year no and then ngayon medyo and uh, so far medyo maliit na lang yung catalyst na nakikita natin and the volume is already low tapos dumating pa itong balita na to which basically is telling us na dito cannot fully subscribe yung offer nila which means the demand is low and that it can affect yung trading ni dito in fact when you try to look at yung mga forums no mapa facebook groups man yan or sa investa you would see na majority are thinking na there's a good chance na magda drop yung presyo ni dito on monday just because of that news now the third group naman is yung mga wala talagang hawak nandito no uh, well sa kanila hindi masyadong big deal na ito kasi technically hindi naman sila affected however if i may suggest something no uh, and this would apply to everyone naman din no try to observe kung ano yung mga magiging movement ni dito on monday and then take that as a part of your research no so that the next time na mayroong mga gantong klase ng news na lumabas over the weekend you can refer to this event and uh, create a trade plan out of that now medyo konting paalala lamang po ano na syempre sa ngayon medyo sensitive pa yung mga may hawak nandito dahil they are worried on what can happen on monday so siguro uh, if i can ask everyone just try to play safe wag na nating wag na nating asarin or pagalitan or takutin pa sila no kasi they already know that and nasa isang community lang naman tayo eh di ba so let's just try to help each other out and uh, kumbaga learn from the mistakes and see how it goes now some things struck me on one of the social media groups no or actually may nagtanong can PSE block yung planong deferment ni ng SRO ni dito now i'm not an expert pagdating sa IIR ni uh, ng PSE no pero i don't think they can pwedeng mag-change pa ito i think maliit lang yung yung chance uh, pero siguro we will try to see na lang no how it will how it will go will there be a suspension hindi ko rin alam no i think only time will tell now while trying to research about uh, this news on on dito i noticed one of the tweets and it was crea- it was tweeted by sir spyfrat which made a lot of sense okay so he said na thanks president monzon of uh, ps tax exchange with regards to clarifying around dito's sro and then he added dapat hindi ma-cancel kasi merong underwriter 
which that reminds me no uh, oo nga pala kasi we have what we call the underwriters agreement or underwriting agreement ayan so with this one uh, it says here na uh, being a sole underwriter pertaining to China Bank no uh, the under on the underwriting agreement it is to ensure that any rights that remain unsubscribed or unpaid after the mandatory second round of the offer will be fully subscribed which means na responsibilidad ng sole underwriter na ma make sure na subscribed lahat okay now if we try to scroll down below we can also see here na any institutional shares not taken up by the institutional investors or not taken up by Yodena after the institutional offer shall be taken up by the sole underwriter or its designated purchaser pursuant to the, to the underwriting agreement. So technically again, no, yun nga yung sinasabi natin kanina. Um, since yung main issue was that hindi subs hindi siya fully subscribe so technically dapat yung underwriter siya ang mag absorb no nung remaining na unsubscribe na shares so guys what do you think what will happen sa trading ni dito this coming monday comment nyo lang sa baba and uh, kung meron kayong mga additional questions again feel free to use our comment box and uh, I'd be happy to answer those questions. Okay? So, once again, maraming maraming salamat po for tuning in and as always, good luck sa inyong mga trading. Bye guys!